How's it going guys? Uh, I'm with Avery today and she does have a little owie on her eye. Um, little mix up. Uh, it's always tough when, you're, when your small loved ones get hurt. Um, this is kind of like the first time we had ever heard her like just scream bloody murder and I was just like, ah, what's going on? Uh, anyhow, today's video is devoted to the African bushfish and what's odd is PetSmart just brought these back and that's why I'm doing this video because a person sent me a video um, asking some questions uh, regarding these fish and these fish are completely awesome uh, my buddy Brian O'Leary keeps them in his out of all tank shout out to you Brian I'll do that every video maybe um, anyhow these fish are the I don't know why they're not popular like um, there's some fish that are super underrated uh, like the biker and uh, there's just there's like some hidden gems in there that we sometimes forget about as hobbyists and I feel this fish is one of them. These things are carnivores. I'm pretty sure they're straight carnivores or no, no, no I think they're omnivores. Uh, like I've said in other videos, I'm not an African guy, but uh, these fish, uh, I'm gonna flip the cam. I'm gonna show you the video he sent me from PetSmart because uh, if you walked into PetSmart and saw these fish uh, as juveniles, you'd be like, uh, no, I'll pass on that. Those things look stupid. But if you see these as adults, uh, you have a full-fledged predator on your hands. So this is right up my alley. Uh, I will be owning one of these as soon as possible. And uh, if my fish stores don't have them, I will buy it from PetSmart. So um, without further ado, let's flip the cam. Uh, these fish, uh, they're straight predators. They will literally, uh, when they get bigger, fit. They'll, anything that fits in their mouth will go into their mouth. It's These are awesome fish. And even the other videos my buddy Brian sent me, his are not even that large of adults. You know, still like mid-size, they're not adults. Um, I wish I had some footage of some mean adults. I spent like an hour trying to get people to message me some cool footage of these African bushfish. And people are hitting me up with excuses, you know, oh, blah, 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 my, my kid, whatever. I couldn't get my hands on any. So uh, I'm impatient with this video and I don't do any editing as you guys know, but I'm, I was just getting impatient. Um, yeah, you wanna be more in the video? Look at my owie, everyone. I got hurt. I got hurt. Say something, speak, speak. Okay, she can't talk. Anyways, African bushfish, let's flip the cam and take a look at these cool fish. All right, so here's the fish here at PetSmart, spotted African leaf fish. So these guys do have a bunch of names. Um, what I've also seen them as le leopard bushfish, uh, spotted bushfish, spotted climbing perch, spotted leaf fish, spotted cichlids, spotted bushfish. I mean, there's so many variations. Um, it's uh, I gotta go back to PetSmart I think and pick up a couple of these because these are really cool fish and I literally had no idea um, what these were. You know, like uh, I'm a I'm actually excited a person sent this video to me because. Uh, it really got me researching these and sure enough my buddy Brian said oh yeah I have a couple of those you know those are super sick fish and he sent me these videos here I'm gonna show you in a sec but uh, as far as taking care of these fish um, they are African waters but you know just because fish are from Africa doesn't mean that you know like anything special has to happen with your aquarium water you know sometimes people get mixed up with that um, a lot of these aquarium fish are bred, uh, you know, these are aquarium fish, essentially, and that's all they know. Uh, we try to replicate their habitat somewhat, but a lot of people bend the rules with these fish because, you know, because you can. And as you can see here, uh, Brian had, this is his oddball tank, he has like some glow fit, some glow tetras in here and etc. cetera, uh, rope fish, I think, and looks like a Corydoras right there and as you can see these guys are still pretty small they get up to like six inches long uh they are carnivores so i lied i thought they were omnivores but they are straight carnivores which makes me excited so if these things get six inches long um 
I, I watch some YouTube videos on them and people are keeping them with other like generic predator fish like Jack Dempsey's, uh, Oscars and so forth. So I'm not sure if uh, that's the best option, but uh, this is a carnivore. It's going to hold down its own. It's going to eat smaller fish. I mean, carnivores with carnivores usually works. So um, these guys have a beautiful coloration. Brian was telling me that if you put these guys against black gravel, because that was the first thing I said, I said, hey, you should put those on black gravel. I bet this, the spots would just like explode on them. And he said, that's actually not the case. They, uh, you're better off with a lighter gravel because you get this lighter coloration, almost like this leopard print, like you're seeing. So, um, I highly advise you guys, if you're thinking about getting one of these fish, uh, do it. You're going to see some more videos from me on these because I'm picking up some of these. And, um, if I can get my hands on a, anything above a juvenile, that would be awesome. But, uh, chances are, I don't have a lot of fish stores around here, so chances are I'll be getting a juvenile and hopefully work my way to this point right here and get some crazy nice six inch adults on my hands. So, um, uh, water conditions, uh, they're tropical. They can get lower water temps because you know, they're, they're hardier like that. And, uh, that also makes them a cool fish to keep. So, uh, just generic tropical temps, clean water, etc guys so if you have any questions about these hit up the comments and i will